Bankmanager.com. Now that we have built a complete bank smart contract, let's initiate the project to build a complete DApp from scratch. Tech stack for our DApp will consist of plain vanilla JS, HTML, and Bootstrap, which is framework for CSS, and also a Node.js as a server. So, in order to use Node.js server, you will need to have Node.js installed on your machine. You can directly visit the Node.js website and follow installation instructions according to your operating system. If you are on Ubuntu or Linux, you should install Node.js with NVM. NVM is Node Version Manager. This may eliminate many errors while installing Node.js. NVM also lets you install multiple versions of Node.js and you can select any one of them for a particular project. Many users get permissions errors while using Truffle or any other library. So it's better to use NVM on Ubuntu or Linux based operating systems. You can use these commands to install Node.js through NVM. Once you have installed Node.js on your machine, you can cross check if it's installed correctly by using node-version command. With this, our node installation is successful. So now let's move on to the creating the project directory for our dApp. Firstly, open the terminal and go to the desired directory where you want to initiate the project. Let's create a new folder here with make directory command mkdir and name this folder as ethereum bank. Now let's jump into this folder with cd ethereum bank command and create a server.js file with touch server.js. In this file, we will write our server side code. And now we will create a public folder for our static files with mkdir public. Now let's go to the public folder with cd public command. And here let's create a home page for our dApp. Let's call it as index.html where we will write a complete front-end code and for javascript part we will write it in app.js file. So with this we have created a complete project structure with required files and now we will install essential libraries for our dApp development. For that we first need to initiate a node.js project with npm init command. It will ask for multiple parameters. For now Let's just keep things as it is. Let's hit enter for all the parameters. It's nothing compulsory. You can edit it afterwards. Once initialization is complete, a new file called package.json will be created in the same directory. This is our node configuration file. Where our node configurations and dependencies will be declared. If you have worked on Node.js project before, then this must be familiar with you. Now it's time to write our code. Let's open the project in any code editor. You can use your favorite one. We are using Visual Studio Code. You can download Visual Studio Code editor for free from their website. In the package.json file, let's add a dependency called express. Since we will be using express.js library in our server.js file. Now in the server.js file, let's import express with require and then import the path variable. Then let's initiate the express and save it as an app variable and define the port where our server will be running. And for that, let's use port 3000. And then to serve the static files like HTML, JavaScript and CSS, we need to specify the absolute path of that folder. As we have all the files in the public folder itself, which we have created earlier, we will add the complete folder itself. And then we will serve the index.html file on dot slash URL that will be our home page. So wherever any user heads on to localhost 3000, the index.html file will be served. And lastly, the listen function with port variable. And that's it for our server side code. Now in the index.html file, let's write some HTML code. If you are using Visual Studio Code Editor, then you can directly type doc and hit enter to get the basic HTML snippet. 
let's change the title of document from ethereum bank right in the body let's create a h1 element with some message like welcome to the ethereum bank now back in the terminal let's install the dependencies required in our node.js project you can use npm install command and then let's start node.js server with node server.js command it will start server at the defined port that is localhost 3000 now open your favorite browser and head over to the localhost 3000 url you will see a web page and the text welcome to the ethereum bank that's it we have created a basic web application snippet and now we will see how to connect this web application with metamask in next tutorial.